Hello, it's Wednesday evening. Welcome to St Peter's for our daily devotional of the evening. And let us begin straight away. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. The psalm for this evening is Psalm 23. I am the good shepherd, I know mine, and mine know me. Lord, you are my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where you give me repose. Near restful waters you lead me to revive my drooping spirit. You guide me along the right paths. You are true to your name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for ever and ever. I am the good shepherd, I know mine and mine know me. Let's pray. Good shepherd of your people, Refresh us with waters of the Spirit and lead us to the sweet repose of eternity. May our comfort be the staff that blossomed in the house of David. Anoint our heads with the oil of chrism and feed us with the bread and wine from your table that we may dwell in your house forever and ever. Amen. This evening's reading is taken from Galatians chapter 3, verses 27 and 28. Sisters and brothers, as many of you who as were baptised into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ, there is no longer Jew or Greek, there is no longer slave or free, there is no longer male or female, for all of you are one in Christ Jesus. Let me live in your sanctuary all my life. Let me find safety under your wings. The Canticle of the Lamb, which is taken from various parts of the book of Revelation. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive power and honour and glory, for you created all things and by your will they existed and were created. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slaughtered and by your blood you ransomed for God saints from every tribe and language and people and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom and priests serving our God, and they will reign on earth. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might, and honour and glory and blessing. And some intercessions. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. And in a moment of quiet, let's lift to the Lord those prayers that are lying on our hearts this evening. And we pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And a closing prayer. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. May the Lord direct our hearts in the love of God and in the patience of Christ. Amen. Sweet dreams then. Good night and somebody will see you in the morning.